Welcome to episode number 12 of the Slatest Bio Tutorial series. In this episode, we will create the data for the hero and the enemy. Let's go! The first thing we have to do is to create two scripts in the data folder. Enemy data and hero data. The hero data will be a scriptable object. Therefore, we need to create asset menu attribute at the top. Inside the data, we need three fields. The image, the half, and let's also store the deck here. Until now, we had the deck data directly on the match setup script. It would be much better to give each hero an own deck, so let's have the deck data here. The enemy data will be similar and also inherits from scriptable object. It also will have the create asset menu attribute at the top. We will have the image and the health as well, but the third field will be the attack. We could potentially have a base data class because both have an image and health. But I don't want to overcomplicate this here, so let's go without the base class. In Unity and the data folder, not the scripts data folder, we create two new folders for the heroes and for the enemies. In the hero folder, we create our first hero. I have no idea how to call him, so I call him the default hero for now. The hero will have the image of the happy slime and a health of 44. We also have to set the deck here. In the enemies folder we create an enemy slime. The slime will have the slime sprite, 15 health and 4 attack. And we also can create another enemy, the red slime. The red slime will be a bit stronger. Now we have our data, so let's use it. In the last episode, we had dummy data and the setup methods for our hero and enemy view. Let's now use the real data there. In the hero view setup method, we add the hero data parameter and set the base up with the values from the data. We do the same for the enemy view, but with the enemy data in this case. Now when the game starts, we want to set up our hero. For this we need a new system, the hero system. This will be responsible for our hero. The system will be a singleton and will hold a reference to our hero view from the scene. It will also have a setup method that should be called when the game starts. Don't forget to add the system to the scene. In the match setup system, we now can replace the deck data with the hero data. We can now pass the deck from the hero data to the card system. We also can now call the setup method of the hero system here. Make sure that all references are set in the inspector and then hit play. You can see now that the hero was set according to the data. However, the image does not change because we have used the same image as initial image in the view. In the next episode, we will set up our enemies when the game starts. 
because we want to be a bit more flexible there to allow multiple different enemies and also want to be able to add and remove enemies at runtime, we will create an enemy board view. If you enjoy my videos, I would really appreciate a sub and a like. Thank you for watching and see you next time.